Knock, knock, knick, knack, ick, knack, nest your baby. Back with another Wingspan gameplay video. As always, grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab your beverage of choice, and let's get right into it. Opening hands looking pretty good. For reference, this is an Oceania game, so we are not going to be... Or not Oceania, I'm sorry. This is an European-only game. This is part of one of the European-only tournaments. And right off the bat, I like what I see here. This is a great card to have. I think, honestly, I start with all of it. I'm just kidding, we don't start with all of it. Um, we want that for sure. Very versatile card. This is also amazingly versatile card. I think... What we're going to want to do, we have Viticulturalist. Usually when you have House Finch, you kind of want to use it on a European board in the Grasslands. However, I don't know if that's what I want to do here. I think just because I don't, I mean, Willet is fine, but it's not that exciting. Um, I might keep this Willet. I might keep this Willet. Hmm. Hmm. Trey is very kind with this. Um, Blue Jay is also kind of tempting, but I, I mean, they do the same thing. This is just easier, cheaper, better. Uh, Rough is also a good card. So hard to say what is the obvious choice. I think, I think going Tui in the Grasslands is really good for tempo. I think Tufted Tipmouse is actually worth keeping in this scenario. Do something like this. I don't think Tufted Titmouse is actually worth keeping here because I just don't have enough food for it. Um, it does have another cherry, but I think these are my two cherry primary cherry eating birds. I think this is fine. I think we can actually put Tui down. We'll keep this. We'll keep this. So if I put this down with the worm. Hmm. Doesn't work. I was going to try to get what I need, so maybe I do this and this. Uh, this thing's good for the first send around. It's cheap. I kind of want the rough, too. I don't think I want to do a forest engine this game. I think I'm going to let him take the tray. I'll put this down first. I'll get the free wheat. I'll play it with the worm, I'll get the free wheat, and then I'll probably put House Finch down after it, and maybe I'll tuck the Willet and see what comes up. Yeah, I think that's the play. Okay. Took a while to think about that. Sorry in advance to Scott Sword. So, for context here, Scott Sword is another content creator. Be sure to go check out his side of this game after this little gameplay. We agreed to record these together. We'll be doing a little post-game powwow after. Pretty straightforward. Lead with the spotted Tui. Take eggs. Get a free grain. And then put down the house finch. Based on what shows up. I don't know if I should... I think the Willet... I think the Willet is a tuck. I think that's fine. I think we can just tuck until we find something we like a bit more. Um, Blue Jay is an interesting option. Um, we can use, honestly, Red Bellied Woodpecker is an interesting option too. Um, it'll, it can just go down with this Spotted Tui. However, I really would like something that like costs one wheat that can go in my grasslands. I might just put the House Finch in the grasslands. Um, I don't love that, but because it's just so versatile, it can go anywhere, right? But I, I don't know. I think I'm going to let him decide which of these birds he wants and go from there. I think this can go down for the wheat because we want to see if we just want to play this house finch right away or not. Um, it's just house finch is just so good, right? So I may just like take food with a fish and then put the willet down and then start ditching eggs for cards. I don't know. We'll see what comes up. We'll see what happens. We're just going to play tempo this game. Meaning we're going to like lay a bird, use the bird, 
and then play another bird, lay the, use the next bird kind of thing. Really not trying to force anything. Yeah, I think House Finch, man. I think it has to go there. You can tuck the Willet. I, th I thought I would play the Willet, but I think the way this worked out, I, I don't want to use the Willet, so. Okay, Eleanor's Falcon. I like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and lay eggs. Take the, ch take the wheat. I think we just put House Finch next, tuck the Willet, and take something else, right? I might settle for the Blue Jay in two rounds. We'll see. Um, he might just take both of these, and then I'll just see what's new in the tray. But I think I'm going to just pull off the top of the deck with Willet. Um, I'll tuck the Willet with the House Finch, and then take what's off the top of the deck and see what happens. Um, I think I need that green. That grebe would be incredible for what I'm trying to do here, so. Oh, wait, we should fill the, uh, toey. Two. Tuck the willet. Take the grebe. Gain a wheat. I think we should try to get the... I, I certainly don't want him to have this. It would be very good for me, but I certainly just don't want him to have it. I might... I think I'm going to take the fish, and then I'll just grab another wheat with this, and I'll put this down and see what happens. And then we can look for something else with the greed. This bird is so good. And then I'll skip the tuck with uh, House Finch. Yeah, Grebe is so good here. It'll contribute to this next end around. It'll help me just find all the birds I need. Yeah. Yeah, this worked out. take blue jay what did he take though he took woodpecker he took another one out of the tray i really should pay attention to that more because if i take a card here that's i i, I just skip the house pinch right i'd rather just have three more eggs right <clears throat> now we can put down the grebe and then we can start ditching eggs off the house finch. I don't really care if he overtakes me on this end around. He might. If he puts something down, I can totally see it. But yeah, so he's got a rough there. If he lays eggs twice, then he'll tie me. Siest la vie, as they say. Um, yeah, we'll just put that down. We're going to take an egg off the house finch and then uh, see what we can find with Great Crested Grebe. I might grab this blue jay just because it's something I can play and then I can get food just a little bit better but we'll see we'll see what we top deck I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll grab it as the last card with my greed and then we'll just see if there's nothing better this black neck skill stilt is interesting um, but it doesn't have enough egg slots I don't think I want it I think I want to look for more viticulturalist and just better birds I think we can do better like that that's excellent. Um, we'll get an egg off of you. That's pretty good. I'd argue that might even be better than Jay. It's the same thing, right? Alright, draw four. That's bad here. I don't have food access for that. Oh, Squaco. That's pretty bad, I think. Junko. Excellent bird. Excellent bird. This might be the find. Yeah, let's grab the Junko. This is good because it'll gain more food out of this uh, out of this Grasslands engine that I'm already building, so it's fun. Yeah. So I think we're going to take a worm when we see one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a worm when we see one, and then we'll take or we'll lay eggs and we'll probably tuck I might just draw cards one more time I kind of want to get this down first but Junko 
Junko's good because it'll help me get Stellar's J down, and then I can get what I need for Tree Swallow. I think I need to draw cards one more time, though. We'll see what shows up in this next tray. Yeah, this is a good bird for Viticulturalist, too. This bird I usually don't like because it costs two and all it does is tuck here. I mean, it's fine if you start with it, totally. I usually don't like to play it as my second bird, but here it's very good as a second bird. Oh, that is such a good bird to find. Northern Goshawk for me. I can just tuck things like Stellar's J or whatever. I kind of want Stellar's J, but I don't have to use it. But I can definitely put that up here just to use some of these. And it'll get me a platform that's super good for what I'm trying to do here. It's not as good for him because he'll be competing for Tux, but he could definitely steal it from me, and that would, that might be a good move. I kind of want this Osprey too, just because it'll give me fish, and every food is kind of valuable when I'm set up like this. When your food's scarce, you kind of just want food out of your other out of your, out of your other uh, rows as much as you can. But yeah, Goshawk would be a great pickup. I think I would actually take Osprey Goshawk and then, uh, yeah, he took it. Okay, that's fine. Goldfinch. I don't think I can let you have that. Um, I think I can just lay eggs and tuck Stellar's J for it. Maybe Dark-Eyed Junko goes up here. Just because this isn't sustaining my food enough. And it's a good viticulturalist bird. Yeah. I think we can ditch this and grab you. Grab a wheat from the supply. Oh, blue throat would be so good here. Blue throat would solve all of my problems. Please let me have that blue throat. Please let me have the blue throat. Nope, he's not gonna let me have it. Yeah, I figured he probably wouldn't. Nutcracker though. I could take the Nutcracker. Just because it only costs one wheat, so I can put it down immediately and start building. Put Junko after it. I think this Nutcracker is actually pretty good here. We'll see what comes off the top. I don't think I want the Osprey anymore. Well. Alrighty then. It's pretty insane. Pretty insane find. I think I just won the game. I don't want to get too cocky. We'll see what happens. But this is a super good card. Um, I think I want to get this down first, though. Um, so let's grab this guy. We're still going to do that. Because I want to get the food I need to play the Junko. And then play the Killdeer. Storm Petrol, is this good? I don't think this is good. It's too expensive. Is this good? Total birds? We'll see. I don't think it's good. I build Grebe. I think we can do better than that. Kinglet, that's good. Uh, we'll keep the Kinglet. Um. Just because we're not going to be playing a bunch of birds up here, so I think having cheap birds that cost wheat um, I think will be a good idea. In fact, we can actually put this... Oh, shit. Excuse my language. Um, I don't want to do this. I kind of want to use this. So I just need one more wheat for it. So I could lay eggs. I could tuck. Is he going to tuck a lot with Goldfinch? This will be another cherry, so I don't need it for that. 
I really want this Junko. I think it'll be way too useful this game. I don't think he's going to be tucking a ton. I mean, man, it's it's hard. I guess I skip Goldfinch again. It's one point, so it's not that bad. There's nothing in the tray that I really want. Um He's probably gonna win this end around, I think. At least we'll well right now we're poised to tie it, but yeah, I think we just lay eggs. Cause Kinglet's in a really good spot right now. I can Kinglet into Nutcracker and then take start taking two food a turn. And then I can put Yeah, I think that's really good tempo. I don't think I need to do that. Alright. This. Into this. We're not actually going to use the Nutcracker activation, but this is just an easy, cheap way to get to the two food. Um, And it puts down more egg slots. I think that's fine. I really want the worm. I really want a cherry, but it's fine. I will take a rodent and fish, but I don't want them per se. Maybe I'll just lay eggs here. No. Ugh. Jealous of the American Crow. Yeah, we'll take a worm and we'll take a fish. Skip that bird power. Yeah, American Crow is a good bird for him. I think this is coming together nicely, but it's not perfect yet. I need, if he doesn't have a tucking power, I don't think I need to use this, but. That's what I need. Worms. I guess we'll take more wheat. Um, no, I'm food scarce. I don't really want the point. All right, so next we play Junko, and then we play Killdeer, so that we can um, we can get plenty of food going. And then we want to get this, I think, I don't even know if we need this Tree Swallow anymore. This Tree Swallow is actually tuckable, I think. And then I think we just lay eggs a whole bunch of times, and we're going to net a card each time. We'll probably try to play this down, and uh, and then win the game, hopefully. That's, that's the thought process. You know, if anything, this Nutcracker is actually pretty decent. At the end of the game, I can just start taking food and ditching all the excess wheat that I have with the Nutcracker. I didn't even think about that. Because I think how this is going to go is... Let's play this. I think how this is going to go is I'm going to get tons of food. It is what it is. I get tons of specifically wheat. And then I'll put this down eventually. And then... Like, I can take, so like, let's say a cherry shows up in this feeder. I can like take, snipe the cherry to make sure I can play this cleaner. And then put this down, ditch a card if I have to, but then like take the wheats and ditch them in, on the Nutcracker for points. That's crazy. Okay, okay, cool. Um, we'll just start filling up eggs everywhere. We'll ditch off at of you, I guess. 
What we really need is egg slots in the forest. That king rail is the one that comes to mind. Might be calling my name. But uh, let's see what you got. Growing owl. Don't love it, don't hate it. Sippy kite. Again, don't love it, don't hate it. These are good fodder. Growing owl is fine. I might put tree swallow down here just so I can have more eggs in the... Uh, more egg slots down here. It does have four of them. It might be a better option than this. What did he do? Blue throat? He's probably not going to tuck a ton. Um, Broadwing hawk. And these are uh, not great, to say the least. <laughs> and see, like, now I have two wheat, right? So, like, I could, like, take a cherry and a wheat if it shows up here. Ditch one of the wheats with Nutcracker, and then play Goldfinch. Or, yeah, and then play the Goldfinch and have an extra point out of this row. Okay, a little rodent. We'll lay some more eggs. We'll ditch more eggs. Let's see what we got. Hawfinch. I, I'm kind of tempted to just... Go up here with Hawfinch, right? And get another wheat whenever I reset the feeder. It costs two wheat, I can play it. Nightingale? It's nuts. <laughs> I think I'm taking this Hawfinch. Um, tuck you. And then... I guess I could have done this in a second. I got a Hawfinch last. Um, Nightingale, huh? This might be good. It's got lots of egg slots, too. I think it's better than Tree Swallow, that's for sure. Because it only costs one, and it's one of food that I actually already want, so I think that's fine. Common Buzzard? I mean, I can just put it down here just to put birds down here, right? Like, I could put Buzzard on top of Kinglet. That's probably a bad idea, but I could just put it down here with that wheat or that uh, rodent he gave me, and then I could put Nightingale down here as well. I'm trying to think. How do I want to do this? Snowy Owl, that's decent. I think this is safe to go down, though. Oh, Parrot Crossbill. That's better than Hawfinch for sure. So let's lay eggs again. Um, we can grab it with House Finch last, right? Shoveler! Amazing bird. Yellow-billed cuckoo. Amazing bird. Okay. We're, we got stuff to play now. Cool. Um, Hawfinch is gone. Perfect. Uh, Buzzard, you're probably gone too. Grab this parrot crossbill for sure. <clears throat> okay, so... This thing can go as the fourth bird. Alright, so we're going to play Crossbill. And then, honestly, I might even play this Nightingale up there. And then take a bunch of wheat and go crazy like that. That's, that's crazy. I didn't even... Man... And then play this in the last round. Yeah, this is this is coming. This is nice. I like this a lot. Just playing lots of birds. I think I'm playing all five of these. I don't think I'm tucking too much more. Kildia really just opens up the game sometimes. How many points am I at? 50? <laughs> yeah. 50 and my best birds are still in my hand, right? Um, I 
We'll let him take that. I don't think I'm going to take food too much, or take eggs too much more. I mean, I get, what, four, five, six points out of it. It would be six. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Did he play anything he's going to tuck? No. And just so everybody knows, Ruff does not trigger the uh, European Goldfinch. That is a myth. Um, I'm going to keep, yeah, I'm going to make sure that I have breeding manager points. I don't expect to get another bonus card this game, but just in case. If I put this up here, I don't think I need to put this up here. I think I can just try to put this up there. I mean, it would be another point each time. It would be my other viticulture. It would guarantee the viticulture list. Mm, I think it's fine. I think this is better. This gets me a point regardless. I kind of want to use this for viticulture list. Don't use the weeds. Use this, use this, use this. Use one weed, that's fine. So we're gonna keep what we need for, uh, like we're gonna try to hit breeding manager and, again, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters where I'm taking these eggs off of. This is a three point bird. This is a five point bird with the egg cost. However, they also contribute to total birds and then, yeah. And they give me like another point here, basically. I'll try to put this goldfinch down. A warbler. And he's getting all the bonus point bonus cards. I wish I had bonus cards. Bell's Birio, damn. Would have loved that. Alright, Robin, Siskin, Black Woodpecker. Nothing that excites me too much. Um this is the last card for Viticulturalist. I think I'm playing these two and then just taking food or laying eggs. Because laying eggs is four. Taking food would be one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is a point, and then this caches all the wheat. This will be one, two, three at least, and then hopefully four. It'll be four points to take food, plus it gives me the food I need for these, hopefully. Yeah. <clears throat> Very nice. Very kind of you. Um, cool. Right there. No cherries, unfortunate, but plenty of wormies. Grab one of those. Yeah, we'll just use all four of those. Let me think about this. I want to win the end of ground, and I want to complete Viticulturalist. Did he play anything that tucks bird? No. So if I put this up here, that completes Viticulturalist for four. This is obviously better, but... I think I put Northern Shoveler down. I lay eggs. Hmm. 
Hmm, I probably should have put Nightingale here. Would have made this a lot easier. I think this was fine, but it wasn't perfect. It's fine. Northern Shoveler, I think, is too valuable. To lay eggs, take food. This gets me too... You tuck that, right? Let's put this down now, because I know I want to do this. I haven't decided which of these two I'm playing, and I think that's fine. Oh, don't take it out of the weapons. <laughs> I'll take it out of you. Seventy-five points right now. That's pretty good. I might put Nightingale down here. Like, take food, Nightingale. That might be the play. And then lay eggs one more time. Good lay eggs twice. Remember to don't fill it. Okay, so. Oh, says Phoebe is a very good option too. I think I'm not using this. I don't think I can afford this. It's three more points. This is safer. And this can go in the wetland, so it's actually like two more points to use this. And he doesn't have any weight. He doesn't have things that are going to tuck, I don't think. I mean, it could get one tuck, but it's just not worth it, I don't think. Let me see, how much is Say's Phoebe worth? It hits one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So, starts at five, drops to two for playing it. So, three, it's nine points to play Say's Phoebe. Versus, if I play Nightingale, it's three and four so this is seven and this is nine however this could win me the end around here yeah this definitely wins me the end around <clears throat> yeah so this is worth three more because it wins the end around which is so this is five, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, and five is eleven, plus two is nine. I don't know where I got ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. That's ten points. But we tie the end around. It's just, it's 10 points. Putting down Nightingale gives me 3, or gives me 4, so it'd be 7, 6, 7, 8, 9 for the end of round. <laughs> it's the same, but then Nightingale wins me the, um, Nightingale wins me the uh, food tiebreaker. So, clear winner. Two, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. They're both nine point birds. So I got two more coming, right? Maybe three.
So I've won the end around regardless, right? He doesn't have any shenanigans, right? He just has tux. So four, five, six, and two food. This is at most four. And it does give him an egg to do this, but whatever. Okay. I think that works. 21 eggs at the end of the game. Pretty good. Not bad. One in three end of rounds. Decent on the uh, bonus card front from my opponent. And 101. Love to see it. Excellent game from my opponent. We're going to go ahead and hop into a little post-game commentary. Hello. Hello, hello. GG, GG, my friend. GG, close one. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I saw that cowbird come up, and I was like, well, shoot. <laughs> I think I got to get away from my grasslands a bit, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. a, little, a little bit, a little bit too late. I had a golden eye at one point. Uh, I also, I was worried about that blue throat too, because I, I was so jealous seeing it in the tray, and I was like, oh, that would solve all of my problems. <laughs> Dang uh, it! Well, I can't remember what I wanted to do that turn, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, I cannot let you have that under any yeah. circumstances. Yeah. It was like I needed for my bonus objective as well, but I was like, yeah, I need that yoink. Oh. But I didn't want to give you food either. <laughs> right, right. Always but the I had I had very little choice, unfortunately. Yeah. The Ruby Count Kinglet was surprisingly a great find. It hit my bonus card and it I had the eggs to play another bird and it like I don't know, I saw it and I was like, wait, this is this is really good. This pushes me to the second food slot, so I can actually like get all my birds down. This is, mm -hmm. and then the Nutcracker. I was planning on using that just because the only good food access I had was wheat. I didn't actually plan on using it for caching like I did, but I don't know. Just kind of, you just roll with the birds you're given sometimes. That's all you can do, I guess. So I suppose then in starting hand, you must have had Tauhi and Finch. Uh, yes. And I decent stuff for you. Yeah. And I wasn't even I wasn't even sure where I wanted to use the finch because, you know, my Oceania instincts were like, ooh, that's a great forest bird. But then I was like, no, we're on we're on European set. I think I I think this needs to go in the grasslands. And I even thought, okay, maybe I'll put it in the wetlands. And the grebe showed up and I was like, well, okay, now I don't have to, so Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a that was a really good, really lucky find on my part too. So. Yeah, and then you had killed it at the end just to finish it off as I, well with the Junker and Finch. You'll <laughs> watch when I when I got killed here, I literally said, I think I just won the game. But I don't want to get too cocky. I don't know. But pretty sure <laughs> that's one of the best cards I can find here. So, yeah. To, to pour salt into my wounds, I picked up Franklin's goal with the rough on the final round. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at your board right now because I was like, oh, let's see what he did because this was, it just, it, it looked like you had some decent start and then just couldn't quite find exactly what you needed. Yeah, I don't know. I, I had to make a decision quite quickly in terms of like, do I actually, I had, um, I had the Blue Jay, I had the Northern sure. Cardinal. So mm -hmm. I was like, right, I can get a pretty good forest going here. Mm -hmm. But then American Crow and blue fruit came up and i was sure. like do i now switch to grassland instead and yeah yeah so you can tell that that's what i did yeah which maybe it was not the right thing to do but then i don't know where i would have got my grassland from otherwise um i i don't know looking at this i think red-bellied woodpecker start it's hard to like abandon that 
But like, I totally get, especially with that second end around where it's like, okay, I have a Goss Hawk. I always say that wrong. I always want to say Gashock. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's just my awful American accent coming out, right? Gashock. <laughs> but anyway, and then I see the American Crow. I was like, okay, you can win the end around and start using an American Crow that will help you get to a blue throat. I think it made sense. I think I would have done something similar. So. And then I guess I think it was in that round when. I triggered with the rough. I threw away the card, no, I think, or maybe I did something else. No, maybe I. I think I took cards before mm -hmm. just to give myself more options. Sure. And then the Cerulean Warbler came up, and I was like, oh, okay, then I'll just play that instead, and I'll yeah. just run Grassland then. But then you played Cook, and I was like, oh my goodness, you're getting a point every turn. <laughs> and then I had Golden Eye, but I was like, I can't play Golden Eye because this is too expensive. I I want two food birds, not yeah. three food birds. <laughs> it's just yeah. so awkward. <laughs> yeah, I I got Cuckoo late round three, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be that or Nightingale, because I thought about putting Nightingale in my forest, because one, it finished Viticulturalist, and two, mm. then I could just use it to just gain one extra food, make sure I get all four caches on the Nutcracker if I take forest food, and then get what I need to play. I think I had a uh, European Goldfinch and... Um, shoveler, but you never played a tucking bird, so I never felt compelled to use the goldfinch. But no, anyway, that's fair. well, great game, friend, again. And uh, it was indeed. Be sure to check out Scott Sword's channel, I'll link it in the description. Please, please like and comment and subscribe on his channel, I know it helps him a lot. And uh, oh, thank you very much. Well, yeah, who are watching on my channel, feel free to do the same. I'll leave a link in the description to. How do you is it knack or knack nester? What do you prefer? Eh, both is fine. You call me idiot. Point. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave the description. I'll leave in the description or in the comments uh, a link to your channel as well. Uh, you got me a subscriber over there. I need to go back. Have you, are you recording the other games from the tournament? Um, I record when I feel like it. Honestly, <laughs> if I'm playing against another content creator, I usually throw the recorder on and you know say, hey, let's let's do something together. But it's it's hit or miss sometimes i'm uh the anxiety gets to me a little bit it's like i don't really want to record <laughs> so yeah that's yeah. fair but i find anyway. that i maybe play a little bit better when i'm recording so i actually talk out loud what i'm doing whereas when i'm just playing without the recorder i'm just like clicking way yeah. too fast for my own good absolutely i've also started noticing that when i do live recordings that like oh yeah i have to like it's like I have to justify my moves to an audience that isn't even there yet. <laughs> so, anyway. Alright, well, I think that's good for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, always, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I never know how to do outros, but anyway. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>